On March 20th of 2024, Old School RuneScape received its biggest area expansion in years, the Shining Kingdom of Varlamore. Along with it came the new strongest NPC in the game, Soul Heredit, the final boss of the Fortis Coliseum. I've decided to lock my brand new account to the long closed borders of the Shining Kingdom to see if I have what it takes to become Varlamore's homegrown champion. I'll have no assistance from other players, no bank, and as little help from outside the kingdom as possible. For me to complete this challenge, I'll have to be a little bit fortistic. What is going on, guys? As you can tell, a few things have changed. We are now playing in stretch mode, fixed layout, so we can all see nice and easy what we're working with, especially because the inventory is really big on a UIM. I want you guys to be able to make sure that you know exactly what I'm holding and exactly what I can see down here. I know it gives up a little bit of the uh, nice, beautiful space that we had on the modern layout that I usually play on, but I think this could be managed. Um, the second thing is we now have a steel semi. Um, our good buddy Rick Turpentine blessed us with a bunch of GP. Um, I've just been killing chickens for a good long while, and I ended up getting 5 attack, 13 strength, 13 HP. And I've just been cooking and burying uh, the bones, um, cooking the chicken, obviously. Got to 19 cooking with that, and 8 prayer from burying the bones. Now, I have done a little bit of a walk around on my main, and I have found a few things that are actually no lie going to change everything. So our first discovery that could possibly change everything, provided I'm allowed up in this area, over here in the corner, while I was taking my little walkabout, I found this iron knife spawn. Now that saves me from having to mine, smith, and smelt bronze knives. So the respawn timer is like 30 seconds or so on this, so the best way to get a whole bunch is going to be hopping worlds, but being that I can equip the iron knives, and I don't have to smith my own. This is going to be our ranged weapon for the foreseeable future. I'm only going to take one more set. Then we're going to go take a little trip and see if our second thing that's going to change everything is available to us. So here we are at the exposed altar. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to be able to bless my bones and my wine. But the hope is I can. Because the new prayer training method with the libation pool could be available to us. So cross your fingers. Here we go. Ooh, okay. Okay. 30 prayer. Let's see about the wine. Okay. So at least we have an idea. 30 prayer start and then we'll come back and see if we can just do it without the quest. So after our not-so-fruitful journey up at the top of Ralos' Rise, we're going to come back and we're going to stand here for a good long while hopping worlds and stacking up a whole bunch of iron knives. I think I'm going to get a couple hundred of them if I can. Um, these are going to be what we're training range with um, before our fight. And so with that, we did 50 hops, got 100 knives. We shouldn't need a whole bunch, but um, we can always come back if we need more. Now the third and final development we got takes place down here by this big old colossal worm. Not these hillies. This is coming eventually. I do want to start killing them so I can bury bigger bones. And their drop table's alright. But, ow. What I really want to fight is hiding behind this big worm. And I don't know that too many people know about it. Because with such few requirements, this feels like the place to do this. But... I bet you all know what these sandy rocks are. Yes, sir. More sand crabs available for everyone. All you have to do is do uh, Children of the Sun. Come down here, get some sand crabs. So we're just going to AFK here for a little bit, eat some chickens, get some XP. Okay, so after an entire inventory of chicken, I have killed three sand crabs, got an iron ore, an oyster pearl, and four coins. Ooh. I'm gonna sell our oyster pearl and our iron ore to the store there. Get a little bit of extra GP for our troubles. 
and then head back to whacking chickens. I'm going to reset the XP per hour counter and see what we can get. The following programming is not suitable for younger and or vegan audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. I think this is definitely the way to go. Get the food from the chicken coop, bury the bones that I get from them, and then come down and actually trade on the sand crabs. Okay, so with another full inventory of chicken, I'm gonna try another one of my convoluted plans. Um, after the chickens, I got another level in attack. And I think I'm gonna try to kill a hill giant. All right, we get these off the screen for us. We're gonna try one of these hill giants. Let's see if we can actually manage. All right, let's see what we get. 38 coins of the big bones. Sword store! Store for swords! So we're going to check out and see how much our mithril simi is going to cost us. All right, 1040. And if we get a full steel set, so we need 4,040 GP to get full steel and a mithril scimitar. But Pock, why are you outside the city? You need to go back to your boyfriend to pickpocket him for all he's worth, right? Now that should be true, right? But in my travels, I found a little item that is going to help me out tremendously with this getting a shitload of GP thing. So it's a nice little Easter egg around Fortis. You'll find these skeletons like this, like this poor guy with the iron battle axe and the leather boots. And they're just dead with a few little pieces of armor and gear and stuff like that on them. But back out here in this far corner, you see this skeleton here right next to him is what's going to save us from pickpocketing for GP. So my plan is to just grab a full inventory of these by hopping around, run them back to the sword stop and sell them off. All right, here we go. 130 coins. Let's go. Let's go, dude. That's beautiful. All right, so after selling one, it drops 10 GP. So that's 250 GP if I sell them two in a row that I lose out on. So I feel like I should hop, sell, hop, sell, hop, sell, which will take more time, but I think that's still faster than pickpocketing for three coins a piece for the citizens. I only had to do two inventories. I actually got way more than I expected. Um, we can head upstairs and go ahead and grab our steel plate, steel legs, and our mithril semi. And we'll get a little bit of GP back from selling off the iron. Heck yeah, guys, a bunch of levels just came in. Figured I'd show you the whole horde of them. Uh, we got level 3 defense now, which gave us 20 combat and 13 prayer. So we're definitely storming along, making our way downtown, walking fast. All right, so these guys are not ready for us. We have our steel plate body, plate legs, tons of defense bonus, hopefully going to keep us alive a lot longer than originally. Did I just get abducted by aliens? Yeah, I don't know, man. It's looking like try number two is going to be a little bit of a, a wash as well. I'm eating right through all my food. If I bring real food, I could probably survive a lot longer. But I think it might just be better just to go ahead and sand crab it up for a good long while. Ooh, very nearly just got shit rocked by that hill giant. Got to get the hell out of here. See, I knew there was something up about this spot, dude. The sand crabs are already running around. They're just kind of hanging out, vibing. But... It's not multi, so I can't just AFK. Look, I can't just AFK. I gotta whack one at a time. 
and sit here and stare at these rocks as they hit me in my beautiful steel plate and legs. Back again. I'm going to try to disturb these three little guys right here, or those three little guys right here. So that way, we can get the most out of our crab AFK, which we will be doing for a satisfactory amount of time. We got a cat friend, fellers. Fishing XP incoming. What the fuck? <laughs> what a fucking weird random event. 650 fishing XP, which gets us seven fishing off the rip without doing literally any fishing myself. Love to see it. We're on our way to get our steel sword as much as we can. We're going to eat all of these stews, fill our inventory back up. And uh, start to make some money, because now we can get our best of slot melee weapon for a little while, the Rune Mace, from our mace store down here in Outer Fortis. He sells a Rune Mace, and it's got the same uh, four tick attack speed as our scimitar does, but, you know, it's Rune. So, sad to see his stews go. That's a hell of a fucking sentence to say. But, um, we got to make room for swords. Speaking of making room, I think we're going to use the Book of Knowledge on Slayer. We need 40 Slayer for a pair of those moons. And even if we make an exception, that's probably still going to be the longest grind outside of Varlamore. So, Slayer it is. This is going to be a hell of a steel sword selling spree. Um, I think I need around 12.5k to get the rune mace. So, even if I sold the Addy Sim for like 3k, that still means I need like 8. 8,000 GP worth of steel swords. So, I'm going to be hopping and selling and walking for a good long while here. From one grind to the next, baby. That's what OSRS is all about. That's why we're here. I think there's another region locked UIM that's doing this. I've hopped a couple times and there's not been a sword on the ground on a few of these worlds. So I don't, like, who the fuck else is going to be doing this? Like, this is some fortistic shit if I've ever seen it. You know what I mean? But I don't know, man. Maybe this is the meta. Maybe I just discovered the meta on my own. Too good at the game, you know what I mean? You know, even if I have to get 10,000 GP worth of steel swords, it shouldn't take me too long. I did two inventories last time and got 6k, so... Should be maybe like three or four trips. Not bad. Not bad. We're fortistic. We can fucking handle it, boys. Let's go. Easy game. Let's go. Alright. With that last hop there, we should be rich enough to get our best in the slot melee weapon for a good long while until I start Perilous Moons. The Rune Mace. Oh, I'm so excited, man. Finally have no more reason to use attack. Oh, no. Online it said 12k. So here we are after our long walk of shame. Back ready to hop some more worlds and get some more swords. This is rough, man. This is a lot of hopping. It doesn't take as long. Oh, neat. It doesn't take as long as, like, actually playing the game. But hopping worlds is very, very, very AIDS. <laughs> here we go. It's a good fucking thing it's Easter time because we're about to do a bunch of hopping again, dude. Here we go. Wee. Okay, 18k, I believe we could get it, I think it's 18, oh, man, I don't remember, but I guess we go check, fuck! 
Look at me, I'm going to buy a rune mace. I'm I'm going to buy a rune mace. This is definitely happening in real time and I sure as fuck don't have my mic muted in this clip. I'm going to buy a, there I am. I have now bought a rune mace in real time and I'm not voicing this over while editing. Definitely not. For prayer bonus, that is a huge thing. I think I said something about that at the time when I bought this rune mace, which is right now in real time. Cool. So I did a little uh, wiki exploring and I found out that these guys you need the Archaea spellbook to do. Which means we do drop. Drop. Nice of them to give me so much head, but uh, I'm just going to put it on the floor. <laughs> yeah, you can tell I have kids. That was a hell of a fucking dad joke. Hey guys, in case you want to know, Limpies are going for fucking 465 on the GE right now. Check the dick's cord. See if the fucker. I'm the only one on. I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. My problems are all gone. Kill the hill giants beside me. Oh, I'm fucking recording. <laughs> I figure I'm going to go for 40 strength. That'll get me a max hit of 8 with this rune mace. So we can do some whack, you know what I mean? Oh, I don't have an axe with the woodcutting level I wish to use. Oh, I don't have an axe with the woodcutting level I wish to use. Ooh, I'm smashing him tonight. I don't like this. Please just fucking die. All right, neat. So we go ahead and we get the 20 defense. We can go ahead and get... Ugh. Penis! Penis, guys! We can get penis! Fucking fuck! So we're now at 20 defense. We can go ahead and get some mithril armor if we really want. That's a little bit of a grind for GP because, you know, I'm broke as fuck. I have 1k to my name. And nothing really to sell that I actually would get any money for. And I think mithril's probably like fucking 3k a pop dependent. So it would be a nice little steel sword fucking running. I guess the mithril armor probably doesn't cost half as much as the fucking rune mace did. Probably be just like a little bit of like, a little bit of running around. Just like one little bit of running around, get the upgrades, and come back. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. I'm out of food. That's what I'm doing. I'm getting fucking mithril. You can't stop me. You're not my dad. Wife's texting me. We're all fucked now, bud. Series is over. Wife said no. So herein lies the problem of getting Mithril. I have uh, one, two, three inventory slots to my name. And carrying three steel swords back and forth doesn't, doesn't sound great. That sounds like actual torture. Like I'd rather be waterboarded than carry three steel swords from the outside of Fortis back to the fucking Grand Exchange or the general store, I mean. But, um, so here we are. We're going to get rid of some seeds. Then... We'll figure out which one of these fucking herbs we want to keep. We'll probably just keep all the runes. I can probably drop the mind runes. I'm going to do a little bit of brain power here for a fucking second. Give me one minute. I'm going to 16 tons. What do you get? Another day older and deeper in. Yeah! <laughs> We're fucking saved now, boys. All right, sweet. Potatoes are in the ground. Coming over here. We're going to give the tool leprechaun all of our shit. I wish I could give him my seeds as well, but alas, no such luck. All right, to the general store we go. We're going to give our shopkeeper friend 14 cosmic runes for whatever he gives us. 20 coins a pop. If I sell them, I get back over 1,000 GP. That's pretty neat. So all of our armor gives negative ranged bonus, so we're getting rid of all of that while we do this. Wield the iron knives, and then we're going to go to town. Actually, keep it accurate while we're low. We're going to go to town on some chickens. And hopefully get to five range. That's our that's our target right now. 
Perfect. So five range. And that matters because now we have a better ranged weapon. And I know that you guys are like, what the fuck? You didn't really even have a ranged weapon in the first place. But we don't actually need these guys anymore. We'll get the fucking GP that we can get out of them. Nothing for that last one. That's funny. So coming over to the bar here, the center of Fortis. There is a ladder in the back. Where we have an oak short bow, which is the only bow that I've found. Unless I have Hunter to go and snag implings for a bowstring and make my own. This oak short bow is the only bow that I can use currently. And this black robe is our best in slot magic fucking attack. For until we do perilous moons. This is uh, this is pretty sick. Alright, sweet. So after looking at the shop, it's looking like we're going to need about 10k to get full mithril. So we're going to go walk around, make some money with our remaining slots here. And then get some mithril. So I'll see you guys in 7.2k. It's a lamp. It's a fucking lamp. We get a lamp. Loimping. Loimping. You go. He is Loimp. I am Lamp. We Lamp We're Slayer. We slay our Lamp because we need 40 Slayer for Perilous Moons. So, Lamp. Lamping. He's Lamping Slayer. All right. I think I did four trips. Um, I ended up with 10K on the fucking dot, dude. I uh, got rid of all my potato seeds. I planted those on my way. You know, instead of going out the way I normally do up through here, I just came this way, used the farming, and then went up around. I figured that was a little bit of a tedious ass walk for you guys to have to suffer through with me. Um, aside from the fucking lamp, I didn't really have anything cool happen. Um, except for this. Another Varlamore account saw me in the general store. He was like, you from Varlamore too? I was like, yes, sir. And so, uh, shout out to you, Fortilius. Sweet. So we're going to go ahead and buy a myth plate. Uh, no, we're going to get myth legs. Um, so mithril plate body, mithril plate legs. We still have 2.2k to go get a Mithril Full Helm. Mithril Full Helm purchased. Well, if there isn't a drop that is pretty cool, but totally useless to me, it's that right there. A fucking beginner clue and a giant key from the same guy. I am a thousand percent sure I can't do this. I don't even know if there's any beginner clue steps in Varlamore. I don't even know if there's any clue steps in Varlamore, period. But the giant key is even worse. I'd love to see that on my main. I'm trying to do the Obor tasks every now and again, but yeah, that doesn't matter to me here. All right. With that, we are at the level. We're ready. We have a 40 attack, 40 strength. We don't have a fucking axe, which I have the woodcutting level to use. Level four farming. Let's go. So yeah, for the next few hours or so, I'm going to be doing a little bit of farming to try to get rid of these seeds in a useful manner i'm gonna need some decent farming levels to get prayer pots and everything like that so we definitely want to take advantage of all the seeds we get listen man i can't waste anything i'm stuck here in varlamore we don't got a lot man you know what i mean so we're just gonna have to wait right here and watch these potatoes grow for 25 minutes Okay. So we got through the potatoes. Um, while I wait for my onions to grow a little bit here, I'm going to start the beginning of the quest. You know, I still have, I literally just talked to them. That was it. I didn't go and speak to the prince. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Get our whole way up to right before we have to whack this level 81. So we have to talk to this lady, then head downstairs to talk to the prince. The next part of the quest, we have to head up to the palace here and talk to these two guys about the Knights of Arlamore. And that will be the part where we have to go around and round up all six of them. This guy is all danced out, and these two are very clearly the guys we're here to talk to. Sweet. 
Now I have to walk this woman over to the fountain. Because that clearly will get her from being stumbling drunk to being as sober as a fucking arrow in two seconds flat. The boxes on my main were these two here, but we'll see which ones we get. Sick. It's exactly the same box. I don't know if it's the same for everybody all the time, but it's the same box that I got on my main. So it should be these two over here. And here we are. Opposite a bench between two barrels of fish. The Fortis Spark. So now we go and pin all this on the Fortis Spark. So the last knight is in the Coliseum. He's the one that we've been training this whole time to whip his ass. Um, now we have to go and finish off these three spots because I forgot we're going to have the crest for the fight. So I'm going to have one less pie than I thought I was going to have. And we want to have as much food as physically possible because our defense is kind of lacking comparative to what it could be. But I think we still can manage it. The bee man wants to talk to me. Beekeeper's gloves. It's actually, I figured it would be the same as leather gloves, but it's actually a downgrade. So we do this. And there we go. With that, our farming journey has come to a close for now. So what we're going to do next is we're going to get rid of the death runes to condense one more spot because I figure I'm not going to be able to cast anything with death runes until 40-something anyways. So two death runes isn't going to break the bank. These guys I am going to keep, though. So we get rid of the death runes. Get a little bit of GP for that. That's nice. And we come back over here and we're going to go ahead and make sure we're all set to go. So we ended up getting our oak short bow. Um, we're not going to get rid of this meat pie until we're inside the fight, just in case I really need it. It's inside the Coliseum fight, so I can kind of use the pillars like you would the Inferno and kind of trap him around if I'm fast enough, I think. I don't know, I haven't really tested it. You can only do the fight one time, so. I only had the one go around on my main and obviously at the level I'm at, I just whacked the shit out of him, so it wasn't really scary. I've never been so scared to fight a level 81 in my life, <laughs> but um, we're going to get it going, dude. Man, this is a long time coming. All right. Man, I'm nervous. I don't have any teleports out, and I don't know if there's any, like, way to leave. All right, let's do it. We're gonna eat the whole fucker. And go back for it. Alright, baby. Man, dude. Such a scary fight against a level fucking 81. I don't actually have to hit him, I just have to hit zeros. I did bring steel arrows, so that way, in case I did hit him, I would hit some good shit, but. Sorry about the AIDS, but I'm doing everything I can, man. I'm scared. I do have them 50% down. I didn't use anything really yet, so I probably don't actually need these. Yeah, there goes the prayers. It's a little bit less than I need. Woo! I thought he was going to change right there. There he goes. Scary. So he hits for eights, which is not great. No big deal, though. No big deal. Man. <laughs> this is the most intense. Stand there and whack him 
that I've ever fucking done ever in RuneScape, dude. It's like just a normal NPC, and I'm sweating because I just trained for a week and a half to get this guy in one shot. I don't even think there's a Lee option. There is a quick exit, but I have to run away. Dude, we might do it. I'm going to eat these fucking meat pies just so he doesn't one-bang me there at the end for something. Come on. We got our max set to eight, dude. We just can two-shot this guy. Come on, bro. Dude, I'm sweating. I'm sweating fighting in level 81. What is wrong with me? I don't want to lose all those steel arrows. Come on. Come on. We're so close. You son of a bitch. I'm fucking scared. I'm gonna cry. Watch me kill him with range in full mithril. Watch me kill him with range in full mithril. Watch me kill him with range in full mithril. Watch me not kill him with range in full mithril. Get fucking wrecked. Let's go! <laughs> Holy Christ, dude. I had a couple more pies that I really needed, but so I could have done this prior to doing the farming is what that tells me, but that's not a big deal. That's I'd rather have been safe than sorry, dude. If I died there, I would have cried. I gotta go to some delegation headquarters? I don't remember this part. Within the Kowatli headquarters for Evans. Oh, that's this way. That's this way. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. It's over here. Nothing of interest. Not attack. We don't attack. Nothing of interest. It was the very last chest I checked last time, so I wonder if it's just programmed to be the last check. This was the one that I had. Oh, maybe it's always that one. Read incriminating letter. Red. Leave. All right, I think this should be it. Now that we have the letter, we talk to these guys. And I think this should be quest complete. That's right, that's right. They literally murder a guy. That's right. Which clearly... He... Oh, I need that sword if it hits 50s like that, dude. Um, Secondly, clearly he didn't do it. I don't know if you guys give a fuck about the lore. But he clearly didn't do it and was framed. And Fortistic here is also pissed off as we are. But here in the Shining Kingdom, we don't fuck around. Dude, if I promise you guys quest complete one more fucking time and then I'm wrong, you don't have to keep watching. <laughs> you don't have to keep watching, dude. I, I understand. This is like the fifth quest in a row where I'm like, dude, it's done. It's over. And then it's not over. It's not fucking over. Man, the Tiamat's a little bit of a bitch to get to, if I'm honest. Wait, 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 wait. I think I'm fucking autistic. No, I was told about asking you to get to this fucking really crazy place. Yo, now we feed Renu. So this is so fucking mint now, fellers. I now have teleports to Civitas, the Hunter's Guild, the Sunset Coast, and the Tiamat. I won't have Camtorum, Outer Forest, the Worms, or the Fortress Coliseum until I get uh, some Hunter contracts done. But even just having these teleports, dude, is so nice. So nice. You know the walk to the Tiamat would have been so AIDS. We're here. We did the thing. I'm not going to say this is quest complete because if I do, then it won't be. Oh, that's right. Metzli's over here. She's over here, isn't she? She's got to be. Oh, that's right, I got a whack. I'm glad I didn't throw all these on the floor, because I was not fucking prepared for this. But we are over-prepared to fight level 34s. 
and especially because I didn't toss food on the ground, I'd be fucking pissing my pants right now, dude, if I had thrown all of that shit on the ground. This guy's getting pile drive, so let me help him out. Now I'm getting pile drived. I'm like barely stronger than the guards. I don't know why they want me to fucking do it. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Easy game. Oh, I should have typed sit rat, bro. You gotta let the NPCs know who's boss sometimes. I forgot about this. That's not great. Alright. I'm gonna say it. And if I'm wrong, dude. If I'm wrong. Quest complete, fellers. Let's go. 3k thieving XP is mint, but that's not what we're fucking here for. We're here for the Civitas teleport and the Quetzals. This teleport matters so, 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 so much. So much. And why? Why this matters? You'll have to wait around for the next episode to see, fellas. <laughs>